Hi guys. So today I have a haul. Oh my gosh. It's been forever and a day since I freaking filmed a haul video. I've been doing a ton of just kind of makeup looks and tutorials for you guys and whatnot. But I am back now with a huge MAC haul. Um, it's a lot of products that I've actually have been featuring in my videos currently, but I've never hauled them for you guys. So I want to go ahead and take the time to show you the products I actually did receive. Um, a lot of the stuff that I got was for my birthday back in February so if that tells you anything yeah it's definitely long overdue but the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do this for you guys today is I ran to Mac in hopes to find um, their recent collection that they launched um, not that long ago from the fashion sets which has the infamous color heroin um, embrace me and there's another one I can't remember the name right off the top of my nonetheless head. they were all sold out of the colors of the colors that I wanted so while I was there the girl did show me you know that they just recently um, launched a new um, a new collection called I guess it's like in extra dimension collection I've recently discovered Jaclyn Hill one I believe on YouTube yeah Jaclyn Hill one I think is is her tag name here on YouTube phenomenal so if you don't know or haven't seen any of her videos go check her out she's amazing perfectionist good at what she does on and on and on and on so anyway so I was watching a lot of her videos recently and started to kind of make myself a list well actually this was a while back but it started making me a list of the shadows that I wanted to go ahead and include in my own collection because I saw how she was incorporating them in her own looks and they were just beautiful looks so that's what I'm going to show you today. Like I said, I have featured these a lot in my recent tutorials because I just haven't had the time to actually sit down and haul the product. So here I am with a huge MAC haul for you guys. Give it up. <laughs> so let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and start with just my shadows. Um, that was basically uh, the majority of what I picked up for my birthday uh, back in February. But it looks like this. Um, everybody knows what these look like. They're basically similar to the, to the Z palettes and whatnot. It's just one-sided. And as you can see, I'm kind of starting to build my palette as I go. Matte Cream Shadow. That's Brulee. The infamous Soft Brown. The Saddle. Looks like that. Similar to Soft Brown, just maybe like a couple shades darker. I have uh, Brown Script. Y'all, I have Hoax, which I used in my recent tutorial. I have, uh, actually that wasn't Hoax. That was Swiss Chocolate, sorry. Swiss Chocolate, then Hoax, similar but not. Uh, I also have Embark. Uh, Coppering. This is so funny. I actually picked this color up specifically because I remember one of her tutorials, she had mentioned that where she worked at MAC a while back, that everybody would call her Copper Ring because she would wear that color a lot. So I went to go check it out and I swatched it and fell in love with the color as well. And I also got a Red Brick. So, oh, and the last color I picked up was Brun, which is like a deep taupe grayish color. Very beautiful. There is a ton more shadows, of course, if you are familiar with MAC, but those were kind of like the the staple colors that I wanted to kind of just include in my collection. And then I also picked up two different foundations, two different times that I went to MAC. Um, I went initially for the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I use this um, quite a bit, actually. I, I love this, love, love, love this foundation for oily skin. My skin's really, really oily. A lot of their foundations do come with a, a built-in pump now. You can see I've used it. And um, this does seem to last all day for me. Um, it takes a really long time before I start seeing uh, the oil on my, my the oils on my T-zone to start coming out. So it does last a really long time. It keeps me matte the majority of the day. Not only that, I love using that foundation, especially when I know that I'm going out in the evening time. So if I go to work and I want to just, eh, you know, want to wear it, it's not really, really good for your skin because it does, you know, prolong where you're not really supposed to use that on a day-to-day -day basis. But I do occasionally 
um, only when I know I'm going out in the afternoon. The other foundation I picked up was, and this was something that the, one of the girls at the mat counter tested on me while I was there. I literally went to the mat counter and I was, didn't have any, or hardly any makeup on. I was with a friend and she immediately was like, oh, you got it. Oh, you know, she asked me how I was using my foundation, which ones I was using. And she was like, oh, honey, she's like, you do not need to be wearing those foundations every single day. She goes, let me show you this other one. So this one's apparently a lot more lightweight, not as, you know, pore clogging, I guess, is what she's trying to get at. But it's the MAC Match Master. Um, she said this was the most mattifying foundation that they have there. I do beg to differ on that. Um, maybe it, I don't know, maybe it doesn't work for me that way, but and it works for others. I don't know. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I really do like it probably going to be using this more in the summertime because it does give you a light wash of color and you can build it up to like a good medium coverage. Um, very lightweight, does not clog your pores, has SPF 15 and um, yeah. <laughs> so. But I picked up several lip colors. Um, I went for Snob, which is a beautiful color and the, I don't know, y'all probably know what that looks like. Anyway, Snob, and I'll actually swatch these for you. This one's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love this. It's a freaking blue tone, light pink color. That snob. I'm going to need somewhere to put all these. I picked up Bombshell. The reason why I got Bombshell is I was in love with a lip gloss from Glow Minerals that I recently have finished. And I think it was called Rose Gold, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was called Rose Gold. It was just a lip gloss form, and I was bound to find something very similar to it because I had just ran out of it. I was just like, and I don't want to go out and buy yeah, it. Yeah, Bombshell, and it's basically a pink iridescent with gold, pretty much. And it's going to be really hard to tell that in camera, but in person it looks really nice. It's a very pale pink with like gold iridescent in it, so it's really the pretty. Viva Glam 2. This is going to be your natural nude color, very nude, but show up really pretty on the skin, especially if you're, you know, a little bit darker tone. This is not going to wash you out. It actually shows up really nice and it's at the bottom. Oh, this is, yeah, this is why I, I wanted some lipsticks because I had, at the time, I realized that the color Candy Yum Yum, which is super infamous on YouTube, like all across the world. Everybody knows about this color, and for some reason, I was late on that wagon. So <laughs> I uh, went when I realized that they actually made it part of their permanent collection. And luckily, when I went, they did have it in stock. And that's Candy Yum Yum, gorgeous um, neon pink. I mean, everybody's probably seen this a million times swatched, but I got a lip glass. And I got it in the color Angel, which looks like that. And it's a beautiful baby pink color nice to wear alone these lip glasses are very pigmented it's the one at the bottom you can wear it alone or over top of you know your favorite pink mineralized lipstick. skin finish um, and soft and gentle and that's the current highlighter that I've actually been using a lot lately so I really really love this There's new line that just came out called in extra dimension the two colors I got in the extra dimension skin finish was this color called double dip Double what? Double definition. That looks like that. And I fell in love with these things because I had them out on display. I was able to swatch them. I have a feeling I'm going to be obsessed with these two colors. Um, out of the three shades, I picked up two. And that's those are the, um, what did I say? Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. Out of three shades, I picked up two. I picked up the more bronzy color, and it looks like this. And I hope the camera's picking up. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, they have MAC engraved on the top and just like a swirl of C or something on the bottom. So this is the bronze color. Um, what I tried, I was asking her, I was like, well, what are these anyhow? So she said they're basically like bronzer, highlighter, and blush combined. So the way you use them is going to depend on how it's going to look on your skin. Um, I then asked her, I was like, well, I like to contour and put blush and highlights so she said okay well instead of highlighting go ahead and try to contour with this which is going to be a deeper color and I know the lights not even gonna 
you're not going to see that because it's so bright in here. I'm not flicking you off, guys, but I can contour with this. And I can even use this as a uh, highlight slash blush. She said I also can do something a little different for the blush application. If I feel like I want all three, which I normally do, I can contour with the bottom, highlight with the top, and then swirl the two together for a lighter blush color. And it works. The girl showed me, and I was like, I gotta have it. So, so she sold me on this product. And I, I, I mean, I actually like the fact that I went and I was able to actually get this, um, their new line because I missed the other one. Like, yeah, I missed it. So anyhow, and then the other color I picked up from the same thing was, it's called Shape the Future. This one's really, really pretty. Um, this is going to be like your rosy tone colored. So similar to the other one, but it's rosy. It's like, it's going to give you a lot of cheek color. So same thing. Um, I know that a couple girls on YouTube have been contouring with blush colors. This is exactly what it's going to do for you. You're going to be able to contour with a deep blush color. You can highlight with this color, or you can use it all together for a nice, just bronze finish. I'm going to show you how to use these. In other words, it's hard to explain. You have to see it because I had to see her do this stuff because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this product other than thinking that it's just a highlighter. It is a very beautiful light pale pink color just like this, but it's like a wash of pink. It's so freaking pretty. But when I saw it and I swatched it, um, it looks very similar to the Bombs uh, Mary Luminizer. And I'm just like, what? I'm trying not to duplicate colors here. I mean, I'm really trying not to duplicate colors that I have. One of the shadows I picked up, and you're going to see why. I hope the light shows this. They had a whole bunch of shadows out in this, um, this recent line that they launched. The only one I came home with was one called Zestful. Zestful. And the reason why I picked up this color is when I swatched it, I have no other eyeshadow that looks like this at all. But the reason why I picked this up, it's so different. It's freaking beautiful. I wish you could see this in person. It's called um, Zestful, like I said. It's one of their shadows that came out in the line. Looks similar to the other ones, you know, as far as the design goes. <clears throat> this, if you look at it in person, it looks like a frosty white with legitly green iridescent shimmer in it it's so freaking gorgeous so beautiful i mean i was there swatching all of them and i'm like hmm, i have that color i have a similar color one looks like satin taupe you know i was just like i can do without so this is what this color looks like and of course just like i thought the camera does not do it justice it is so freaking beautiful Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I know the camera's not picking that up. So see how iridescent that is? When you look at it up close, like it, in person, it's you can see so much of the green iridescence that's in this white cream color. It is so freaking pretty. I've, ha I, I've not seen anything else like it, so that's why I picked it up. There you have it guys, that was my MAC haul. I try to rush through it as quick as possible because I do ramble a lot. I talk about each product, or I try to, and then the video ends up being way too long, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, so I thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I do have a couple more hauls to show you, but I love it, and I will list my makeup that I have on my face in the down bar below. You have a great weekend and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.